Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to record your uh, business flow using the uh, Blaze Meter uh, Chrome extension or uh, Edge extension, whatever you call. In last video, we have seen about recording the business flows using the built-in uh, element called HTTPS uh, Test Script Recorder. So using that plugin, uh, we were able to configure the proxy uh, in the element and also we have configured the proxy in the operating system. Then we were able to uh, record our business flow and we were able to capture the network. But you have to spend time on the uh, configuring the proxy, then you have to uh, configure the element and you have to add the uh, excludes. Then you have to add the right transaction names while recording. So there are a lot of activities you have to do it manually uh, before you get a, the complete script in JMeter. So that is why BlazeMeter has come up with the Chrome extension where you'll be able to record your business flows using the browser and you will be able to export that into a JMeter format. So there are a lot of plugins available uh, if you search in the web store or in the relevant uh, store. But uh, BlazeMeter is very powerful and it's very easy uh, to navigate and uh, it supports multiple extensions and so on. But one of the drawbacks is you must create a BlazeMeter account uh, which is free to create by the way. Uh, and then you'll be able to store your recording to the, your uh, default project so that you can run it from the cloud. So that's the only thing uh, I can see the cons of BlazeMeter, but other than that, it is very excellent plugin. Uh, it will save you a lot of time. So to install the plugin, uh, just go to Chrome, Chrome Web Store and search for the BlazeMeter, you'll get a link and you'll be able to add your uh, uh, extension to your browser. So here, uh, instead of using Chrome, I'm using the Edge because I like it. And uh, here you can see uh, after you installing successfully, you can see the BlazeMeter icon. So if you just click on it, uh, it will prompt, uh, there will be an option to log in. So I've uh, already logged in as you see. And here you can enter the uh, test uh, name, the script name basically. And uh, there are three buttons, stop recording, uh, start recording and reset the all the options. And under the advanced options, you can configure the current uh, user agent basically, which is a current browser. But if you want to set the user agent to say Safari, you'll be able to configure it and you'll be able to record. But for the demonstration purpose, let us stick to current browser only. And in the filter pattern, you'll be able to exclude some of the traffic which you do not want to record. Uh, basically, you have to enter some regular expression uh, if you want to exclude something. And there are options to disable the browser cache, Ajax requests, and uh, think time, randomized think time, etc. And also you'll be able to configure the uh, parallel number of downloads. So which we'll be seeing in, in eventually. And you'll be able to save your recording uh, in the default project by default. So now let us uh, start with recording. So enter the name, say uh, pet store. And let us close this uh, tab and keep the uh, application uh, you want to record active. And just click on the icon and click on start. So after you click on start, it will prompt you to enter the test case or label. So in this case, I'm going to enter say home page uh, uh, load and hit enter. Then uh, I'm going to refresh my page. So only after refreshing the page, you will be able to record the home page load uh, transaction. So now if you want to record, say enter the store transaction, you have to enter the label or the, uh, the uh, name, enter the uh, store and hit enter then you have to click on this uh, link so that uh, blazemeter will capture the traffic similarly i'm going to click on uh, fish and hit enter and i'm going to click on fish so and so on you have to uh, enter the step name and you'll be able to record after you done with your recording you can click on uh, stop or if you want to pass recording you can click on pass now let us uh, stop the recording so once you stop the recording, you can see the icon is getting uh, so blinking, uh, meaning the script is ready or it's in progress. So let us click on this icon. As you see, uh, pet store uh, script is now av available. So there are three options basically, whether either you can run your performance uh, script or you can uh, edit or you can save. So in this case, we are going to click on edit to see what's there inside. So basically we have recorded uh, the uh, three uh, transactions basically. And in the three, three transactions, you can, you can see, right, uh, there are three requests here. And here you can export to Taurus, you can export to JSON, you can export to JMX. Or you can uh, click on this run icon where you will be able to adjust the test properties and you can run it from the cloud using the free tier. 
So in this case, we are going to uh, export to X, uh, JMeter. So in, instead of using this icon, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, close this and I'm going to uh, open the blaze meter and I'm going to hit save. Uh, here you can see there are three options, whether you can download JMeter uh, or uh, Selenium or both. So in this case, I'm going with the JMeter only. And uh, once you click on JMeter, it will ask you to which domains to include. Suppose uh, uh, this uh, pet store has some other third party uh, calls, right? If you want to, if you don't want to include in your script, uh, you can just uh, uncheck. So in this case, we are going with octoperf.com because that is where the pet store has been hosted. Just check uh, the boxes and click on save. So after uh, exporting uh, to JMeter is done, it will automatically download as you see here. And if you click on this uh, uh, show in folder, you can see the uh, file. So to open this, what I can do is, uh, what I can do is just click on uh, the JMeter, just bring up the JMeter and click on file and uh, select open and select the pet store and click on open. So now if you click on this uh, expand, uh, you can see all these, uh, the three requests basically, that are all three transactions has been recorded successfully and you can see the request uh, details. If you want to quickly validate, what you can do is you can go to listener and click on uh, view results tree and click on run. So this will replay the transactions as per the uh, configuration here and you will be able to see the uh, response for each transaction. So this is how you'll be able to record your uh, business flow using uh, blaze meter uh, chrome extension. So why I'm saying this is right, uh, if you have a luxury of uh, utilizing the chrome extension or browser extension in your enterprise network, definitely you can opt this uh, based on your uh, corporate policy, which is uh, if it is allowing, definitely you can use this. But make sure uh, check with your manager because few of the enterprises, they don't allow to install the extension and they don't want to uh, violate the policy, right? So make sure you have the uh, right privileges and uh, right uh, permissions and right uh, policy set before you use this uh, Chrome extension. Otherwise, you have to stick to the uh, HTTPS uh, test script recorder to record your business flows. That's it guys from my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. If, uh, if you have a time, please go to my next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.